Let's review applications or apps for your Android tablet. Um, the things that you do on your tablet um, require applications or programs that are written for the Android tablet. So if you want to play a game on your Android tablet, that game is considered um, to be an app. Um, if you want to print something, you will need a printer app. If you want to um, get directions you, or pull up a map, you will need a map application. If you want to back up your tablet, you will need an application that allows you to back up tablets, Android tablets. Um, if you want to take a note, you will need an application that allows you to take notes on your tablet. So a lot of these apps are free. Um, you can access them through the App Store. Um, some apps come pre-installed on your Lenovo ThinkPad tablet. Um, they give you a good variety of applications that come with this tablet pre-installed. So if you want to look at the applications that are already installed on your tablet, on your home screen you would go to the upper right hand corner and you'll see an icon that has um, two rows of squares. If you tap that symbol, that will take you to an app screen that will allow you to view all of the applications that are already installed on your tablet. They're listed here in rows in alphabetical order. You might have um, more than one screen, so if you slide over, you'll be able to access all of your apps. If you want to access an application, simply tap it and that will open up the app. Um, you can go and use your back button to go back a screen. If you want to install an app or search the App Store for a particular application, you'll see in the upper right hand corner a shop option. If you tap shop, that will take you into the um, Google Play Store that will allow you to take a look at, say, categories, certain categories of apps. Could tap on that, and the applications that are shown there are, narrows it down to, say, health and fitness. I can go back, and maybe I just want to look at game apps. I could tap games. There's also some featured apps that will be shown. Um, the top apps that um, cost money, the top free apps, you can tap that. That's helpful. Um, and if there's something that you want to download here, you could simply tap it and it will give you a description of that application and some reviews that you can read, whether people who have installed it have actually used it and liked it. Let me go back here. Um, if there's a particular app that I'm looking for, there's a search button that looks like a magnifying glass. I can tap on that and say that I want to pull up an application that has to do with Starbucks, I can pull that up and you'll see all the application, it kind of narrows it down. If I want to install that, I tap it and hit install. Um, usually there is an accept and download option that you have to agree to. So I'll click on that. You'll see a downloading bar that will go across the screen. One of the other things you can see here is this app is rated only three stars and there's only been 37 downloads. So it's not a very popular app. Um, so that's something you want to keep your eye out for. You can always uninstall these apps later if you install them and decide that you don't want to use them anymore. So that application has been successfully installed. Um, if I go back to my home screen, it will place an icon on my home screen for that application, and I just tap that to access the application. Let me go back here. Um, to uninstall an app, you get into your settings. The settings option is to the right of the dial, those three little symbols, if I tap that. That'll pull up all of my setting options, and on the left, you'll see there's an apps option. If I tap that, and decide that um, you know I'm not using this particular application that I just downloaded here, I don't like it, I can go ahead and tap the application that I want to uninstall.
and then you'll see an uninstall option and you just click on uninstall and OK and it will uninstall that application and that will no longer show up under your apps menu. Um, if I just want to remove the icon, not, not uninstall the app, but get rid of this icon off of my main screen, you can tap and hold the app and you're able to drag it over to say the screen to the left and release it. If I want to get rid of the icon altogether, I can tap and hold and I'll see a remove X at the top of my screen and I can move it on top of that until it turns red and then when I release it, it deletes the icon but doesn't delete the application. If I were to go back to my application screen and scroll over alphabetically to this particular app, I'll see that it's still here and I can access it this way.